Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma. Today we are going to learn about the aggregation, grouping and the summarizing. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. Prisma ORM provides support for the aggregation, grouping and the summarizing data using the functions like count, sum, average, min, max. This function can be used in the combination with group by to perform the complex queries. Okay. So Prisma ORM provides functionalities for efficiently retrieving summarized data from your database. This involves aggregation, grouping and the summarizing operations or your model fails. So what do you mean by the aggregation? This involves performing calculations. So if you want to perform the calculations, what kind of calculations? You want to calculate a count of the number of entries, the maximum, the minimum, then you will go with the aggregation like, okay, then we have a grouping. So like uh, sorting the data on the behalf of grouping like group by so you can use the group by method to sort the data accordingly summarizing like uh, suppose you want to calculate the like how many emails consist uh, group uh, like you want to count like uh, what kind of emails that consist of the gmail.com and what kind of email that consist of the hotmail.com okay so this kind of calculation that will help with the help of the comes in the summarizing. This combines aggregation and the grouping to the present data in a more concise, informative way. You can group the data, then apply aggregation. So you can group the data first, then apply the aggregation like sum or something like count. You can do that. I have example. I will show you. Okay. Aggregation. There is example like suppose you want to calculate the average. So you can go with this one. Like the query is Prisma user dot aggregate average. You want to calculate of the age should be true because we want the age to calculate the average grouping by is there like a group comment group by so here we are by you have to mention it like post id in which field you want to group by and the counting the number of comments okay so here this is how you are able to do the grouping okay so now this is the file code okay let's we have already added the code let's understand that one first of all i will show you the demo Okay, so here we go with this one. The total number of users is 45. If I go and check the number of users, we have the, here you can see that we have a 50 users, but some of them I have, you can see 45 rows. Okay, so here you can see that we have a 45 rows that we have calculated. Here we go with this one to sum of the user IDs. Okay, so we are calculating the sum of the user IDs. So calculating this, all this sum, so it will come up with like 1035 average age of the users so that is going to be 43 so here we are calculating the average age of everybody so here you can see that so we have calculating and the age is coming like this count of the users by email domain so we are calculating the we are just differentiate which one has a millionator.com that that has the two and example.com has a 43 so if i go and check this one email domain so here you can see we have millinated that is two and the rest of that is example.com. So here you can see that we have summarized that one. So let's go into the code level and check each and everything. So here we have the code like get user summary function. So first for the counting the users, we can use this, this method like count, get the sum of the users ID with the help of the aggregate. Okay. So here we are calculate the sum of the users IDs, calculate the average age of the users with the average method. Okay, so here we are using aggregate now grouping. So here we are using the grouping. So get count the users email by the email domain. So we are going to count the users by the email domain. So, okay, and separate separate that one. That is a group by. Okay, so by which one that is email and the count that should be the email. Okay, so we are calculating that one. Then we are going to process each and everything with the other eight and then we are just get the domain counts okay so here we are doing that one okay so if this such kind of functionality you want to implement into your project so definitely this is the best one okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day